everyone it's Leilani welcome back to my channel so today friends I wanted to give you a two-month flip through of both April and May in my Hobonichi A6 um, I have gotten a little behind on sharing so I definitely have still been doing process videos over here and I still plan on continuing my journal with me series um, on YouTube but I do also like to share the completed month together I always think that that's kind of fun so we're just gonna quickly flip through April and May together over here um, so that you can see how all the pages ended up looking uh, together. So I do have this A6 um, album or Hobonichi. I love it so much. I love this size and June is the last month. So we are working on the last of the six months for the Avec and then I will be starting a new uh, A6 Hobonichi little journal for the last six months of the year, which is pretty exciting. So let's just get into it. So typically on this opening page here for the month, I haven't really known what to do with it, but what I've continuously done is I found a meme that I felt like kind of told the story of my month or I thought was funny or for whatever reason resonated with me. This one is Salem from Sabrina and it says, when I'm happy, I eat, which is too true. And then the bottom half, I tend to just put something there from the month. So for instance, January, I have a meme, and then I have the little uh, life book here that came with the Hobonichi. For February, I have a meme, and then I have this large sticker from one of my favorite clothing companies. For March, I did um, a meme, and then I just put some stamps because I was writing a lot of letters. And then for April, I have my Salem meme there, and then this is like a, it says organic sour cherry spread that I'm obsessed with from Whole Foods, and I get it like all the time and I love this spread. So I thought, why not? I'll just take the uh, packaging off and I'll pop it in there. So then we move on to the first. I'm just gonna kind of quickly go through these. Of course, I am using the same products throughout. So I do print off photos using sticker paper. I have uh, my mild liners that I use to write all of my titles. I do have some older um, like wooden stamps, really small ones from Michaels or somewhere that you'll see throughout as well. I use the Bando sticker book quite a bit along with maybe other stickers from my stash. I have these paper clip stickers that I got from Amazon and then I also use these washi tape sticker books from Amazon as well along with totally random washi tape just from my collection that I've just gotten over the years. So all of those things that I could um, link are linked below. So here on the first, I'm talking all about me and Will going to one of our favorite restaurants and train. Then we move on to the second here. I have a little smaller title that says spring cleaning. Talked about my to-do list and things like that. This sticker came from the Bando sticker book and I love these like little mini titles like set an intention. I think that those are cute. I love this frog um, washi tape that I have. It's always really cute. I was still in my desperate housewives era during these two months maybe just starting it and I uh, this was like my second rewatch of Desperate Housewives and honestly one of my top favorite shows I'm so sad that I am now done with it it was so much fun so I have a meme up there I still can't stand Susan sorry if you are a Susan fan on Desperate Housewives I can hardly stomach her I find her very very difficult to watch here's where I'm starting to have some doctory things go on. I'm not going to get into it, but I had some eye things happening. So I was talking about that there. I have another Desperate Housewives meme that was really getting me through these days. Um, I did get some cinnamon rolls to kind of cheer me up there. I love adding the titles, like adding a handwritten title mixed with the stamped titles. And then also these little subtitles that are kind of um, like little color blobs there. Then we move on. A lot of times, if I don't have a ton to talk about, I'll just kind of go on about my day, like day-to-day -day activities. So I just have Saturday, wrote about that there. Um, on the 7th, my bestie Casey had her baby shower. So that was really fun to talk about. I have a little picture there. And I just love using these paperclip uh, stickers to kind of have that illusion that it's just paperclipped right in my album. 
Of course, at this point in April, it was tax time. I loved adding this little file folder sticker that came out of the washi sticker book. The eclipse went on that day, and even though I really didn't take part in it, I thought it was fun to just include kind of more tax stuff, more doctor stuff, some flowers that I had. Happy mail from one of my friends, which really brightened my day. So I just took different little pieces from the happy mail and added it on there. Another doctor appointment and I had to get blood work done. So I love, these are some of my favorite stickers from Pip Sticks. They are the fuzzy droplets. So they have different colors in the, it's like a rainbow set. So of course the blue works nicely for rain, but also the red of course works nicely for blood. So I added that on. This is kind of funny because whenever I was at the baby shower, my friend Sarah informed me that it is rare to have female orange cats. And I was telling her all about lasagna, my baby, who I've acquired a few new scratches. If you notice those, I do apologize. Um, so here I was talking about, oh my gosh, how lasagna um, is a female orange cat. And if you've watched my latest Project Life video, if you do follow along there, you will know that two years into um, having lasagna, we found out this week that she is a boy. So that is actually obsolete at this point. So it makes a lot of sense. Um, I've added another meme. I love adding memes or illustrations from like Instagram to kind of tell my story. And also a lot of days where I don't really have any pictures or things in particular. I love adding the bigger stickers from those uh, washi tape sticker books. They're wonderful. Sunday moments kind of numbered that one here a little bit more talking about different things and me and Will started fallout and we went to a restaurant that we like called New Asia. So I talked about that. Here, just more like doctory things. There's a lot of stuff going on in April, honestly. It was a little bit of an overwhelming month, so that is definitely reflective in my journaling. Another meme, one of these Sailor Moon memes that I love. The 17th was really fun, though, because The Circle was back, which is one of my all-time favorite shows, favorite reality shows, and it really, like, brightened my days. I absolutely loved watching The Circle, so that was really fun there. Then here I have Trader Joe's stickers because me and my mom did run into Trader Joe's at some point that day. Uh, we want to do a little kitchen remodel type thing. So here I was writing down my ideas. That's always a fun thing to add into my hobo when I don't have anything in particular to talk about. I like to just kind of plan things for the future there. Here I had a crafty zoom, so I talked all about that. Have a little picture. Morrison Trang, our favorite restaurant, gave it five stars as always. And I love how this one ended up looking with the greens and everything and the happy frog. Here we have a date day with Will, went to Sugar Ghost. Anytime we go anywhere that offers a sticker that I can buy, I'm going to pick it up. So I have that there along with our pizza. Got to see my bestie Casey right before she had her baby, so that was awesome. And you'll see that I have the main title as Casey Day, and then underneath it did the stamp title of Mickey is only eight days away, which is really fun. I love kind of mixing and matching those types of titles there. Massage do-over, so here me and my mom went to get massages, and I had a much better massage that time than my previous um, trying it out. I didn't love my massage the first time. Now, uh, this day, I decided to mostly talk about Baby Reindeer. I had a one-day binge and watched that entire show, which was really fun. I gave it four stars there. I love this bandeau sticker. Moving on, this is a road trip. So, me and Will went to, uh, our, well, our final destination was Detroit, Michigan. So, here's where we kind of started out. Talked about some of the things we did that day. Talked about our food, of course. We made it into Cincinnati that night, and then we ate there. So, I grabbed this card from Harmony, the place that we ate. Um, it was in, I forget what it's called. I'm sure it's in here, but it's in like a big market that they have there that is escaping me. But it was really fun to go there. Um, yeah, I can't remember it right now. But it was really fun to go there. And I have the little card. I ended up adding a sticker photo and added a little bit more about what we got there, which was really fun. Then we keep it going another day. 
on our trip and we went to Frankenmuth and, and I grabbed a sticker, so that's fun. And then just more talking about us driving home. Here, the last day of the month on April 30th is Penny, our sweet, sweet Penny's birthday. So she turned seven. So of course I had to devote the day to her. Had a really cute little wiener dog sticker there. And I did some Penny facts to fill in the bottom half of the spread. And then we're moving on to May. So I am using these Avery Index tabs. I just get them off of um, Am yeah, Amazon, excuse me, brain fart. And I just go ahead and add in the month. And it just helps me if I want to like quickly get to a month, I can flip to it without uh, any difficulties. So that's what I tend to do each month. So here, of course, I had to have a Desperate Housewife meme for the start of May. I just added a big Mel Stringer sticker, one of my favorite artists, and added in a little bit of journaling. And that's just kind of the opening page for May. Moving on to the first, we have Casey and Mickey arrived. I love the way that that page turned out. Also, me and my mom had a hair appointment that day, so I talked about that. At this point, May was a lot about my mom that month because it's Mother's Day. It's my mom's birthday, and also she was retiring in May. So, a lot of like mom things going on, and one thing was I was looking through old pictures for this PowerPoint presentation for her, um, her retirement party, so that was really fun. So, I was looking through pictures. Here, Will made us pancakes, so that was a big thing that I talked about, and I talked about book club at the bottom. Patreon update. So this is where I was deciding that I was going to stop my Patreon. It was a really hard, tough, tough, tough decision, uh, but it was something that I think was needed for the time being. And so uh, I talked about that there. Also, my sweet friend, Laura, sent me these beautiful, beautiful flowers that just completely brightened that entire week. And that was so lovely. Here, I just have little things. Sometimes I like to kind of pile all of my uh, titles, my stickers onto one side and do my journaling on the other side. So that's what I did there. Here me and Will painted our TV room and then I kind of did a little list of things that were left to do. I found a couple paint stickers in the um, washi sticker book, which was really cool. Busy, so I just split it up into a morning and afternoon journaling paragraphs there so I could talk about my day. This was my mom's big day after 39 years retiring. So she was finishing out the month, but this was her big retirement party. So I had a lot to say about that. Then the next day I was able to go meet Mickey for the first time. She was only nine days old. So that was a beautiful uh, moment. Then here, just kind of a regular day. So you can see not a lot going on. So I used one of those large washi stickers there to fill in the space. Here was Mother's Day and we went to hang out with Will's family. I just found, uh, we went to a Memphis Redbirds game. So I just found the logo online, printed it off on sticker paper and made my own sticker. Here I talked all about scratch and sniffs because me and my friend Christine were collecting all of these scratch and sniff stickers from Everything Smells, one of our favorite sticker shops. So I just wanted to document all the stickers that I got in the mail and all the things I was doing with those. On the 13th, I was still deep into Desperate Housewives, but this meme actually says, burying my social life after watching the eight seasons in two weeks. So I watched it in about a month and a half, two months, but I was nearing the end and I was on the eighth season at this point. So I was not looking forward to having to complete the series. Over here at a day out with my mom, I like to do numbered journaling sometimes to just keep it simple, shorter, make it easier for myself. And I also grabbed out those stamps again and said summer berry refresher, which is one of the new drinks that I tried. Here was all uh, all about Loungefly and when my Loungefly obsession started. So I already had a couple Loungefly bags, but I really started to get into it along with a bunch of my friends at this point. So I ordered this new bag and this was the uh, like tag that came off the bag. So I talked all about it there. Also talked about Marco Polo. I was uh, on that app a lot with my friends, still am, but this was whenever it was first starting there. I just thought this sticker worked nicely for like, Marco Polo, like, I found you kind of thing, like how she's spying. Um, another thing I like to do if I need to fill in space, I'll look on Instagram. I'll save different, like, little um, illustrations, quotes, memes, as I've mentioned before, and I'll add them in to just take up space. So I thought this was really fun. It was, like, summer 
ends, so things we want to focus on in the summer, which I thought was fun. Did another little Patreon update here at the bottom. Another kind of random day where I didn't have a lot to say, so I just did a small amount of journaling and filled in this bottom section with a title, washi tape. I did a thought bubble and added a sticker, added one of these large washi stickers, and then did a bunch of little star doodles, which I thought was really cute. Again, just a little bit about my Sunday, a little bit about this Monday. I filled in uh, this space with another uh, like illustration from Instagram there. Here was whenever I went to hang out at Barnes & Noble while my mom was getting a massage, which is one of my favorite things to do. I got my brown sugar chicken espresso. And then this was finally the day that Desperate Housewives was over. So that was really sad. I have this meme of, I think it's Cardi B and it says, if talking about Desperate Housewives was a job and she's just has money everywhere because that was kind of my obsession was just talking about Desperate Housewives at that point. Here we have Sin Trang. Me and Will got tofu again. And here's a couple of our fortunes. This was my mom's birthday and we celebrated. So I have her birthday cake there. Talked about new documentaries that me and my mom wanted to watch on our trip. Target on Saturday and just little bits about life and things that were going on again on Sunday. So these two days tend to be the big errand days for me and my mom and we always get coffee and we always go out together. So I don't typically have a lot of pictures from these days so I use those washi stickers. Then we had Memorial Day. I love that I had an American flag kind of sticker there. Me and Will watched a lot of Fallout, added in my star rating. We also tried the show Tires and didn't really love it, so added that in. This one, I really needed to fill in um, like an empty day here, so I just did a currently list of what I was watching, listening, and making, and then added a bit of small journaling at the bottom. Wednesday things, again, just a um, one, two, and three type journaling so I could jot down things easily. Here I did that I was re-watching um, Sex in the City. So now that Desperate Housewives was over, I decided to do that. I did take the background out of the sticker and I think I did this, some of you guys probably noticed because I did this one on camera, but I didn't even notice that Charlotte's like, she's two pieces. <laughs> She looks like she was in one of those magic tricks where they saw you in half, but it's okay. I don't really mind, but I didn't notice that till too late. And then the last day was my mom's last day working after 39 years. I snapped a picture of her as we dropped off her, some of her supplies at work. And then this will be that front page where I add the meme and all that for June. Have a few pages filled in and I have some pages I need to catch up on there. So... With that, friends, I just wanted to give you a bit of a flip through so you could see how everything looked together. I always think that that is fun to just see the flow of the album. I hope that you enjoyed the little flip through. And I also hope that you are enjoying the process videos as I put them up. I love seeing Hobonichi content. So I hope that you're enjoying it. If you um, did like the video, please give me a like and please also consider subscribing. And of course, I will be back at you super soon with another video. Have a great day, friends. Talk to you later. Bye, y'all.